Hey everybody, Jason Edwards here with Trendify, and today we're going to talk about what to sell with Go High Level. And I get this question a lot. I know that I thought about it a lot. I overthought about it when I first got High Level because there are so many features and so many things that High Level can do for a business owner that I found myself wanting to offer everything to everyone. And that all that did was overwhelm the people that I was talking to. And I think that that was a big mistake of mine in the early days. And I still get hyped up and I start offering all these things. Even some days today, I get caught up in the excitement of saying, oh, I could do this and I could do that. And sometimes you just have to start a lot smaller and work your way up. Because number one, when you start smaller, it's easier to convey that over to a business owner so they understand, hey, we're going to do one thing. We're going to get you reviews. We're going to set up a Google chat widget. We're going to put a little chat widget on your website and help you collect leads. Those are really small individual things. We're going to help you get social media done and social media posted and scheduled for you. So those little things. And then you can start adding websites and landing pages and funnels and, and calendars and pipelines and all that other stuff. But sometimes what we do is we end up over telling them all the things that are available in high level. And then they say, okay, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, why don't you do that for me? And then you just tripled or quadrupled your work when they don't care about those things and they're never going to use those things. But now you promised it to them, so you have to deliver it to them. So the bottom line is keep these things as simple as possible. I'm going to go through this SaaS configurator, this dashboard here, and show you some packages that you might consider putting together. But understand that you can also, because you now are able to white label this software, you can sell any package that you want to any business and make a hybrid of things. Some people pay me 97 or 197 a month for everything. And some people pay me 97 a month for just one thing. And that's because that's all they want and that's solving a problem for them. So that's the main thing I wanna convey in this video is don't overcomplicate it. Just listen to these business owners. You're not getting like 500 clients tomorrow unless you're doing some massive webinar and then maybe then you have a little more structured plan. But if you're just getting started, then just get some business flowing, right? Just find some local businesses that need one simple thing. Maybe they just need a website and a chat widget. Maybe they just want to get some reviews. Maybe some people just want to have social media posted for them consistently and they never log into your software other than the first time to set it up. So let's relieve the stress. Let's, let's calm down with that side of it and just really think about how we can start getting our toes wet, start getting some, some money flowing, and then we can start worrying about bigger packages and and more streamlined packages, okay? Because I think we all think that people are just gonna stump, come flooding to our website and start signing up and we're gonna have thousands of people tomorrow and it just, it doesn't happen unless you have some huge machine making that happen. With that being said, let's look at how this works. So, so here we are in my SaaS dashboard. This is kind of the packaging that I start working with, but we'll go ahead and start with the build your own plan. I mean, sorry, with the recommended plans. This is what High Level recommends that you sell. You obviously don't have to do this. If you have the 497 a month plan, then you're able to, and that, that's the SaaS Pro plan, then you're able to pick your own packages and kind of design this as you want. And they're going to make this uh, in the near future where you can have even more than three options, but right now that's what we have. I'll show you a couple things, the way that they've packaged it, and then we can talk about how you could make even smaller packages out of this. The basic plan, I call mine Trendify Pro, but you can just be like basic, premium, and pro, or whatever you wanna call these things, but two-way text and email conversation. So all that is is the ability for your customers to send messages out, like email broadcasts, and single emails out, and text messages, and text broadcasts out, and then the ability for those customers to reply back into your client's dashboard. So it's two-way communication. A lot of text messaging platforms uh, only allow outbound communication, but if somebody replies, they get an error message or they don't, that never goes to the business. So this is a really great feature. Then GMB messaging. So this is where your customer, your client that has, that pays for your SaaS, signs up, they connect their Google profile, and now they have a little chat icon where they can start um, having customers see that little chat icon and start communicating with them directly through Google. So it's a really cool thing. Uh, web chat. So that is a little bit of code that you put on your customer's website, or if you're building a website and installing it into that, it's just a little pop-up chat that says, uh, hi, can I help you? And then uh, text us here. The person types, uh, hits that little button and the chat widget pops up and then they can start communicating over their website. Reputation management, that is reviews, which will show you some of the dashboard here. Facebook Messenger. So this is a lot of times your clients have a Facebook page or an Instagram account 
and they're getting DMs on those accounts, but they have no way of communicating back and forth with those people because they don't know where to go. It gets a little confusing. So here, all of the communication can come into one simple hub here. GMB call tracking. So we get a tracking phone number all through your dashboard here. I believe it's like a dollar a month in the US and other countries, it might be a little different. And then we, as those phone numbers come in, that call can still get forwarded to your your client, but the call is recorded and it's tracked all through the dashboard here. So it helps them see how many calls they're getting, how many calls they're missing, all that stuff. Text to pay, and I'll talk about missed call text back. Text to pay is where you can send out a, just a uh, simple chat directly through the app on their phone. So a common use case of this is like a landscaper, right? They go out to a property, give an estimate. The person says, yeah, let's do it. They complete the job and then they say, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that'll be $2,000. Uh, and then it just gets a little awkward. Like, how do we pay? And then you have to like send a link and or have a credit card swipe machine or have them write you a check. It gets a little a little uh, cumbersome. So this is a way that they can just send a text message out to the person with a link. As soon as they tap that, a thing pops up where they can put their credit card information in for the exact amount for that particular job. And then missed call text back is along with this tracking number. When somebody calls that number, if your client doesn't answer the phone, then it will instantly send a text message back out to the consumer and say, Hey, sorry, we missed your call. How can we help you? Okay, now let's move on to the next plan. And the next plan is everything that's in this beginner plan plus calendar. So that is the ability, like if somebody has Calendly or Schedule Once or one of those online booking systems, this can replace that. It works incredibly well. It can send out a Zoom link for a meeting, all kinds of really cool stuff. CRM, this is the ability to track actual data on a particular um, person inside of your database. So, so what company they're from, last communication, keep track of notes, all that stuff. And that works in conjunction with opportunities, which is kind of a pipeline view of different stages of a prospect. So lead to talk to, to follow up, to send proposal, to closing or whatever their stages of their pipeline is, it can all be adjusted there. And then email marketing too. So if somebody uses MailChimp or Active Campaign or any of that stuff, you can use the email marketing system directly built in here and they can replace all of those things too. And with your SaaS plan, you can mark those things up. So we have phone reselling and email reselling, which means every email that goes out and every text message and phone call that happens has a fee to it. And you can either give the base cost to that person or you can mark it up a little. So your email cost you can see is 0 0.000675. And you could be charging if you wanted to. I typically don't mark up this much, but you could be charging three or four times that. So every time they send an email, you make a little bit of profit. So that's totally up to you. I usually keep it kind of low here, but again, it's totally up to you. And they're rolling out some more stuff that you can rebuild for as well. So that is plan one and plan two. And then plan three is just the recommended one that they say everything in these two plans plus funnels. So we've talked about funnels on some of my other videos, very similar to ClickFunnels. It can actually import any funnels that you have in ClickFunnels. If you're a ClickFunnels user, you might see I have a Funnel Hacker shirt on here myself because I used it for many, many years. But I think this funnel builder works just as well for me. And I like having it all in one system here. Membership. So if you sell courses, I sell courses. And if any of your clients want to sell courses, you can give them the ability to do that. Some people have a SaaS just built on selling it to experts and coaches and people that want to sell their courses and things online. So I think that's a great opportunity uh, just by itself. Websites we've talked about in the past uh, on some of my other videos, go check those out. But it's very similar to funnels here, except you can have multiple uh, pages that all work together. I think they're very similar though, as far as the builder goes. Workflows is where you can automate a lot of process. So uh, something happens and then a series of other things happen, like somebody fills out a form. And as soon as that form is filled out, then a tag is added to them, an email gets sent out, a text message gets sent out, they get a membership access, all those things can happen with workflows. Forms, um, they work hand in hand with, with workflows and funnels and websites where you can just build forms and have people with their name, email address, all that stuff in there. Uh, and then surveys, so I haven't done a ton with surveys, but I think there's a lot of opportunity there where you can actually have people fill out uh, different stages of questions. So. Uh, what color do you like? What size uh, shirt do you like? All those different things. Or tell me a bit about your business. What company are you with? How many years have you been in business? What's your revenue? Those types of things. Okay, and then we'll expand this to see what else we got here. So we have trigger links. That's kind of like a clickable link. And once somebody clicks that link, then it sends off uh, an automation.
automation of various things. SMS and email templates. So that's just saved templates that you can have to make sure that uh, you have a standard thing that goes out every time somebody fills out a form or something like that. All reporting, that's kind of a generic thing, uh, generic term, but basically it means that you can get reporting on how many calls you got, how many Google um, views you got on your profile, how many uh, emails were sent out, all kinds of stuff there. Uh, triggers and campaigns, I think we talked a little bit about that. Uh, social planner is a huge one. Um, so I use that primarily in some of my businesses and some of my clients pay me solely just to use the social planner. So I say you can replace Buffer and Hootsuite and all those other things and just use our social media planner and posting tool. Invoicing, so that's similar to the uh, text to pay, but you can send an in invoice out and a recurring invoice out. So say you have like a monthly charge of a thousand bucks to somebody, you can set that up through here. Uh, blogs, I haven't done a ton with, but you can blog with with a high level and then affiliate manager, which is kind of in its early stages, but uh, somebody wants an affiliate program, like maybe they sell a digital product or they wanna reward someone for recommending someone to their business, they can use the affiliate manager here too. And you can see here with mine, I give some complimentary credits, which means that every month that they pay me, they get, um, in this case, 947 text or 11,111 emails. So once they use that up, then they have to pay more. Okay, now we'll go to the build your own plan. And I believe this is only available on the SAS Pro, which is the 497 version, but it allows you to move these things around. They, they have these, these features locked, so you have to give that on the minimum plan right now. But I do know that they're rolling out some ability to have even more than these customized plans. And honestly, you can sell pretty much anything you really want to and just start removing some of these features. It's a little bit of a manual process, uh, but it's very easy. You just turn off the checkboxes to give people access. So what I'm saying is if you wanted to maybe only give somebody access to the social media planner right here, uh, I could do that. And then as soon as they sign up for this version, I can go and turn all the other things off so that their dashboard doesn't show the availability to even access those things. So really you can set up any plan you want for any particular person um, and any pricing. I believe the minimum they require is $97 a month, but you can also do like six month plans and you can set up funnels that can charge a little bit different things and just make sure you're you're doing what high level asks you to, but at a minimum charge 97 per month. But the bottom line of this training is that really you can package this thing in any way that you want and do not overcomplicate it. Do not think that you have to have these structured plans that are fixed in a box and every single person has to decide what they want. Just start having conversations with business owners and say, you know, start very small. Do you need, do you need more reviews? Okay, great. I have a software that will help you get more reviews. We'll just connect your Google account. It takes maybe less than two minutes. And once you do, we'll be able to automatically send review requests out to your past clients. How does that sound? Great. And then once they get that activated, say, you know what? We also have the ability to put a chat widget on your website and you're probably missing out on some leads there. Would you want me to add that for you? It's only a another 47 bucks a month or only another 27 bucks a month, whatever you want to do. And you can, you can roll them up from there, or you can just start including those things. Like start out with just the one feature that you're offering them, the, the reviews, for example, and then say, Okay, well, I also threw in a few extra things for you just because I appreciate your business. So I'm going to put a chat widget on your website because I noticed you didn't have that. And I'm going to, um, let's see, what's some other things? Oh, and I'm going to do your first 30 days of social media posts because I saw you guys hadn't posted in two years. Oh, awesome. Now that 97 bucks a month that they agreed to becomes a no-brainer, right? They're never going to leave. And now I want to show you something I've never revealed on this channel before, but I think is really cool hybrid model of what you can sell with SaaS versus uh, including something in the digital world, digital products. And it's something also that you can easily deliver, easily automate through high level and really use it as a, as your own business, but use it also as a lead magnet to bring people into your SaaS software. So this is something that I've been selling for a while and that is Canva templates. So I create branded templates um, in Canva for different industries like real estate. A lot of my clients that use my SaaS product are real estate agents. So I create this little bundle and I sell it for 10 bucks. So it's a quick low ticket thing to just get my foot in the door with some people. And then once they've experienced this, then I immediately, I have a whole upsell sequence here where they can, they can upgrade to a video package. That's like 37 bucks. That's also pre-designed and pre-done. I don't have to do anything 
when somebody orders that. And then once they upgrade from that, then I offer them my SaaS where they can pay me monthly for either just a social media posting tool, which I've done that uh, successfully. I have several people that just pay for that or people that ascend from that. Maybe they want, again, what I've talked about, maybe you ascend them from that to getting reviews and getting a new website or whatever other things you want to add on to make a custom package. Personally, I like to do lower tier pricing. So we'll go back to, I personally like to do like 97, 197 a month. Most of those people, once they sign up and I get them up and onboarded, I never hear from them. They just keep paying every single month. I get notifications on my phone that I just made a new recurring payment every month. And I love that. Once personally, other people may have different experiences, but once I get to like the $500 a month or more price range, then I start having more um, justification every month of why they're paying for this thing. I just prefer to have it like a low, low price. Like think about Netflix. When is the last time you ever picked up the phone and called Netflix to see what was going on or what's coming up new or any of that stuff? You don't because it's just something that you enjoy using. You get exactly what you've agreed to get out of it and you pay them your 15 or 20 bucks a month. And it's just been, I've been paying for years and years and I've never ever called Netflix. I've never chatted with their customer service, nothing because I just, the exchange is there and it's perfect. So don't overcomplicate these things. There are so many different little packages you can do. My best advice to wrap it all up is start small, start with something very simple, and then expand from there. I promise you, if you go the other way and you start trying to give everybody everything, which I've made the mistake too many times, they get overwhelmed and they uh, either say no, they, they don't need all that stuff, or they say yes, which is even worse because they don't use any of that stuff, but you still have to deliver it to them because you've agreed to set it all up. So that's my best advice. Hopefully you got some value out of this. I thank you guys so much for watching these videos. There is a link down below. If you are ready to take this to the next step, you want to get a 30-day trial of High Level, I have a 30-day trial link right down below. And I'm building out my uh, free SaaS class, which is just walking you step-by-step -step through how to set this up and, and everything uh, on your own. Then you can go down below to freesasclass.com. And with that, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.